So uh, now we will discuss how to implement sequence alignment in a more efficient way. Usually we compare quite long sequences up to few tens of thousands of amino acids and runtime of alignment algorithms as you know is proportional to the number of edges which is quadratic and uh, memory consumption, consumption of alignment algorithm is also proportional to the number of nodes which is also quadratic and memory is a often bottleneck because in runtime you can execute billions of operations in one second but to store billions of values in memory you need one or few gigabytes of memory and if you want to compare longer and longer longer sequences you still can wait for many seconds when while your algorithms uh, try to compute this uh, alignment but you don't have such huge amount of memory which is needed for algorithms. So how can we do this? Uh, let's define middle column of our Manhattan grid as a column in the middle, so it's quite simple, and we define middle node in the Manhattan grid as a node where an optimal alignment pass crosses the middle column. For example, in this grid we have a uh, this highlighted node as a middle node because our optimal paths go through this node and in this node is in the middle column. Uh, let's design the algorithm to find sequence alignment. We, at first step, we need to find a middle node. Then we need to find alignment between the source and middle node. And after that we need to find alignment between middle node and the sink. Since we know all parts of a path, we can do it recursively. So the only problem is how to find this middle node, because we don't know yet. Uh, let's first discuss how to find alignment score in linear space. Previously, we used backtracking pointers to find longest path, and it required quadratic uh, memory. But what if we don't need this longest path, but we want to know only score of alignment? Can we uh, skip storing these backtracking pointers and use less memory just to find alignment score without alignment itself? Uh, let's take a look on our Manhattan grid. And we have a first column and we know all values in the first column. After that, we can compute all scores in the second column using the first column values only. And that's the same as uh, we previously discussed uh, when describing alignment algorithm. But for the third column, we don't need to know values of the first column, and we can simply forget them and reuse this memory, because for the third column, we can use only scores from the second column, and so on, and so on, and so on. And at each moment of these algorithms, we need to store only two columns. And we don't need to store all scores of all nodes in our Manhattan grid. And now we know how to find alignment score in linear space. But uh, we want to find all alignment in linear time. And let's go back to our middle column and middle node. So middle column was a column in the middle and middle node was a, a node where optimal pass crosses this middle column. Let's define i pass as a longest pass among all passes that visit ith node in the middle column. And for example, length of uh, zero pass is two here and length of four pass is four. And Let's try to compute these numbers, lengths of all i passes in the middle column. Uh, for example, here in this graph, it's 2, 3, 3, 4, 3, and 1. And 4, our middle node, is a maximum node uh, in this uh, vector of lengths of i passes. So, lengths of i pass, which we will write down as lengths of i, is uh, consist of from from source i and to sync i, which is two parts of our path 
uh, from source to this node and from this no node to the sink. And we can find all values of from source i's uh, just by going through the first part of Manhattan grid using our linear space uh, algorithm to calculate alignment scores without uh, alignments itself. And we also can find a vector of values from sync by going in the second part of Manhattan grid, but backwards. So we will start at our sync and we will go by backward edges trying to reach this middle column also in linear space so we will know alignment scores but we won't know alignments which led to this scores and after we have these two vectors from source and to sync we can sum them up and uh, find values in a middle column so uh, how many what, what is the runtime of this algorithm so to find from source we need to visit area divided by two of our whole manhattan grid and to find to sync vector of values we need to also visit area divided by two so we actually need to visit whole manhattan grid to find values in a middle node so isn't it too large using uh, the same runtime as before we found only middle node so we found only single node which belongs to our optimal pass and it required quadratic time so what can we do next we can uh, split our manhattan grid into four parts and highlighted parts here should be visited after we found middle node because our optimal pass uh, stay somewhere in these areas but we can skip other two areas uh, from our considerations on the next steps of algorithms so uh, on each of these highlighted parts we need to find middle node how many time will it take the area of this node is proportional to the half of our area of whole Manhattan grid so we need only half of the time which were required to find single middle node to find two more middle nodes in these separated areas so after uh, this step we will have three uh, nodes which belongs to our optimal alignment path and we can iterate more and more so uh, on the next step we will split our area into smaller uh, rectangles and we will find middle node in each rectangle and so on and so forth and on a third level of recursion the total area which we need to take a look on is proportional to the uh, area divided by four and uh, on the fourth step it's even smaller and smaller and uh, during the whole algorithm firstly we visit we visit that whole area to find single node single middle node and the next step we visit that area divided by two to find more nodes on our optimal alignment path and on the next step we visited area divided by four and so on and so on and this progression sum up to two times area so it's actually linear linear uh, runtime of these algorithms linear by area of our Manhattan grid uh, you can uh, see the illustration here for example for the first pass we need to uh, take a look on a one area on the second pass we need to take a look on a half of area and on the third pass it's fourth and so on and so on and you can easily take a look here that it sum up to two. So what have we done? We designed algorithm which required only linear space because uh, every step in this recursion requires linear space to find a middle node in a given area. 
and runtime of these algorithms is still linear to the uh, our, our number of nodes and number of edges in alignment graph and uh, by using this technique it, it's a little bit slower but by using this technique we can uh, slow down a little bit of runtime but still uh, find whole alignment in linear space.